Heaven and earth has never felt so close to me. And I come to realize what we're here on this earth for. It's a reason and it's a word. That reason is to serve. Serve in our community, our churches, organizations. And that word is to love. You see, I come from a family of 17 children. And at age 13, I was on my own. But at age 14, I found true love. I remember walking past his house one day saying, I'm going to marry that guy someday. Well, two years later, we had a car accident. And not knowing there was an accident before us, my boyfriend at that time overheard the nurses say, the two girls that were brought in didn't make it. And he thought that was me. Well, he came storming in my door. And that's when he proposed to me. And I said, yes. And then God blessed us with four beautiful children. Then I started networking in life. Meeting people. Learning from them. Growing relationships. And I felt so blessed with all the new friends in my life. One day I went to Dallas, Texas to eWomen Network and they had a breakout session called the Passion Test and I was like, I want to take that breakout session. So I did and you get to list 10 things that you're passionate about and then it boils it down to one. I brought that result with you and it says to be a messenger and I was asked to be a messenger for who and for what? And I said, to be a messenger for God, whatever he wants me to be. Well, with saying that, time goes by and I get a life transformation. One that wasn't in my plan. And now I live my life a new way. You see that true love of my life? 3.6 million hours of love. God took him to heaven. And I got a new message. And that message is that God wanted us humans to know that spirit wants to connect with us as much as we want to connect with them. And that is so ever true in my life. I remember getting a book at my door that said Messages of Hope. It took weeks to open that book. And then one day I did. And it changed my life. I felt so close to God. And that's what I want. He has my man. You see, you have to know in life that God has a path for us. Are we on it or are we veered off? Months later, I get another message. And it was from Janet Atwood, the one I took the passion test with. And it said, are you a messenger? And I slept on that. That word kept coming up to me. The next morning I woke up and I said, yes. So I am here today with courage to grow. I've learned in life, you have to get uncomfortable to grow. So my message to you is to serve. Serve in the world from your community to your churches, organizations, or even somebody you don't know to support them. And to show love, show your compassion and human kindness of helping others. One more thing, I never wrote poems in my life. 
and God gifted me a way to speak, a way to speak to you. And I'm going to share one with you today. Heaven and earth has never felt so close to me. It's plain to see that we're all on a journey, yes, you and me. Now unlock your heart because you hold the key for what we are all to see. There's a mission for you to get done. Just know that you don't always have to run. It's right in front of you with every wish to come true. All you have to do is smile with every minute and every mile to complete your journey of love that was sent to you from up above. I am so blessed in life and at times you just have to accept where you're at. So my message is to you is to unlock your heart because you hold the key. And I would like to say thank you to Robert Evans for putting this program together to allow us to be messengers. This is so healing for me. And I have a big favor for you. Please leave me a message in the comment box below. Share with me your message. This is about all of us. I would love to hear your message and how you serve. You can share me a true love story and I will be blessed to receive it. Again, thank you for your time for hearing my message.